Hallelujah. Praise God. To God be the praise and the glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Sashimwe. Ichuba Hirochi Vichima. Na Ikuzo. Nichuba Hirochi Osi. Let me take this moment and this opportunity to welcome you all to our live service. Le Kamfaterero Anmahir Gwemba. Chire Mwe Se Mumatera Niroya Chuyu Mugoro Bari Online. This is Friday evening and we are having our service online through YouTube and and facebook uyu rero ni umunsi wo kwa gatanu ni mugoroba dufite amateranyo yacu ya Jubilee Revival Assembly kuri chano za truths tunyuraho cyangwa se zivugirwaho ubutumwa ya YouTube ndetse na Facebook so be blessed as you are joining us be blessed as you are tuning in and let the lord increasingly bless you rero muhabwe umugisha n'Imana mudukurikirana mwumva ijambo ry'Imana don't also forget to share the link with your friends so that they may also be blessed by the preaching. Hallelujah. 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 So in the next, next short while, we are going to have a moment of prayer. And thereafter, I will be sharing with you the message the Lord has dropped in my spirit. I've been sharing with you on the faith series, and hopefully I may conclude them today. Because on Sunday, on Sunday we are having a special day. It's a Pentecost day, so... I believe that we will be going to another phase. And hopefully Faith is what I'm going to be emphasizing on today. And I'll talk about three things, uh, four things, receiving, retaining, developing, and releasing. Uh, developing and releasing. Kukuzura, kuzura changwa kugukuza, kugukuza kuizera. No, 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 kugusohora, kugafasha ukajiru mumaro. Praise be to God. Oh, ichuba hironi chima. In other words, how to receive faith, how to retain it, how to develop it, and how to release it. Muyandi magambo ndaba soba anura, nigute wakwachira kuizera, nigute kukwizera wachiri ya wakurinda, nigute ukukwizera ulimo kurinda wagu kuza kugateri mbere, nigute kwa sohora muminimo yako kukagaragazi vikorugu. A lot of people have received faith but have failed to maintain it, to, to keep it. And the same people, the Bible refers to as those who have uh, those who have suffered shipwreck. So there are those who received faith. But it has not developed. It has become stagnant. They were not able to develop it and to grow it to a good stature, a good measure. And there are also those who received faith but cannot release it. They, they keep it to themselves. It cannot work for them. It is dormant. It, it is asleep. So, if the Lord gives me enough time today 
enough grace to share this, I'll be able to run through all these. Ninjira rero umugisha imana ikampa ubuntu ibi byose ndabinyuramo kugira ngo tubisobanukirwe noneho kwizera kwacu kube guhamye Shall we pray Lord God of heaven I thank you for such a wonderful moment Data wa twese uri mwijuru ndagushimiye kubw'uyu mwanya mwiza uduhaye You are glorious you are marvelous you are wonderful you are good you are awesome thank you Lord Uri imana y'icyubahiro uri imana y'imbaraga uri imana yizerwa utubereye mwiza turagushimiye mwana Thank you for such a wonderful moment that we have come to share your word Urakoze kubw'uyu mwanya mwiza uduhaye tuje gusangira ijambo ryawe. Lord I pray for myself as I speak your word let utterance be given to me to speak out mysteries. Mwami ndishira mu biganza byawe ndakuyereka kugira ngo ijambo ryawe mvuga abari wowe urumvugiramo kugira ngo nsohora amagambo y'ubwami amagambo y'ubwenge ari bufasha abantu ba Lord I pray for my interpreter let wisdom let quickness let speed be given to her to also speak the same words Ndasengera umusemuzi kugira ngo ubwo bwenge bw'ubwira ubw'ijambo ryawe bumuzeho ayihute ahishurirwe vuba ashobora gutanga amagambo ari bufasha ubwoko bwa I pray for the technician lord that is behind the, 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 the cameras and the mixers in the name of Jesus let everything it takes to be efficient be given to him in the name of Jesus Christ. Ndasengera abashinzwe ibyuma abashinzwe ibikoresho kugira ngo ubwenge bwose nubuhanga nubushobozi ibikenewe byose kugira ngo umurimo wawe ugere ku bantu bishoboke kandi biboneke mu izina rya Yesu. I also pray for my followers for my viewers for my listeners in the name of Jesus let your mercy and grace be extended from here to where, wherever they are let everyone who will, be who will be receiving this word be blessed be transformed and be healed in the name of Jesus Christ Mu izina rya Yesu ndasengera abanteza amatwi abakurikirana abarimo kutwumva abarimo kumva rino jambo mu izina rya Yesu ndabasengera ngo iri jambo baryakira reka mwami imana bacira imbaraga bacire guhindurwa bacire gukira bacire kubohoka mu izina rya Yesu After everything is said and done we promise is to give back all the glory to you my lord Jose bimaje kuvuga kandi maje kwakirwa bikozwe mu buzima bwacu turagusezeranya kuguhishimwe n'icyubahiro mwami wanje Thank you lord in Jesus name Urakoze mana mu izina rya Yesu Amen Amen Let's magnify the name of the lord together Reka tuzamurane izina ry'uwiteka hejuru Can you turn with me to the book of Mark chapter 11 verse 22 Reka tubumbure bibira zacu 11 umurongo wa 22 Receiving retaining developing and releasing Kwakira kurinda gukuza no gusohora kwizera kugakora The Bible says in verse 22 Umurongo wa 22 muri Mariko 11 haravuga ngo Have faith in God Yesu arabasubiza ati mwizere imana have faith in god mwizere imana this is the beginning this is the starting point of our faith aha iri niryo shingiro uru ni rwo rifatiro rwo kwizera kwacu praise be to god icyubahiro kibica imana have faith now Every kind of relationship you will ever have with the Lord, every kind of ministry you will, you will ever uh, participate in, everything begins with having faith in God. Ikintu cyose wakora mu murimo w'Imana, ikintu cyose wakora mu nzu y'Imana, ikintu cyose wakora kugira ngo uyeshe Imana icyubahiro, cyose urufatiro rugera kukwizera. Faith is the foundation. Kwizera ni urufatiro. Faith is the base of everything kwizera niryo buye ryifatizo when you talk about prayer yo tuvuze kugusenga worship kukuramya service kugukorera imana ministry kugukorera imana love urukundo fruits of the spirit imbuto z'umwuka wera gifts of the spirit imana z'umwuka wera preaching kubwiriza intercession kwinjinga interpreting gusemura any kind of divine activity begins with faith 
Buri gikorwa cyose cy'umwuka cy'ubumana gitangirana no kwizera. You cannot do anything for the Lord and succeed without faith. Na gushobora gukora ikintu cyose ukorera Imana ngo cyo kintu gitere imbere udafite kwizera ngo bishoboke. The starting point is having is having faith in God. Ishingiro ryibanze ishingiro rya mbere ry'ikintu cyose wakora rishingira ku kwizera Imana. Praise God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the day you received Christ, faith was born in your spirit. You may not be able to perform great miracles. It's not because you have no faith. Maybe something is missing in one of these things I've just mentioned, but faith has been born in you. The Bible says in the book of Peter that we were born of an incorruptible seed of the word of God. So if you received Christ genuinely, Serious with your heart. I don't care how weak or strong you may be. But as long as you received Christ within you, faith was born. A seed of faith was planted in your spirit. And it is there. So if you don't have Christ in you as your Lord and Savior, Faith is not there at all. So we begin our journey, our Christian journey, our spiritual journey by receiving Christ, by getting saved, by receiving faith. Praise be to God. That is the beginning. That is the starting point. That is, that is the line where we begin the journey from. Now I'm emphasizing on how to receive faith. How do we receive faith? We receive faith or we receive the faith that they will receive the Christ. You may not be, as I said before, you may not be able to perform great signs, great wonders, great miracles. But that might be because your faith is still uh, uh, small, low. But it does not mean that it is not there. It's like a newborn babe. The child may not be able to do anything. But he or she is a human being. Give them time, they will grow and will be able to perform, to do whatever you desire. The same thing applies to faith. So it may be weak. Small. Very literal. But as long as you have Christ in you, you have 
faith. What does the Bible say in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. What is the word of the Lord? That is Christ. When you hear the when you hear or when you heard the word for the first time, and you accepted, you agreed, you, you consented with it. You obeyed the word and you received Christ. Then faith was born. Faith was put. It, it, it was induced in your spirit. So now that you have Christ, you have faith. So the following steps are to see how to grow it, how to keep it, how to release it. But it is there as long as you have Christ. I hope now this is clear and understood. Through receiving Christ. By hearing his word. Faith is received. Faith is born. Faith begins to live. Praise be to God. Do you have Christ? Are you born again? Stop questioning your faith. You may question its growth. But don't question its existence. Because it is there. A younger child may not be able to run as fast as an adult. But she or he may not be able to work, do great things like an adult. But she's there. She's, she was born, she's there. So stop questioning your faith. Stop doubting your faith. Are you a Christian? Are you a believer of God, of Christ in God? Do you belong to Christ? Are you a child of the Most High? Were you born again? How did you become a believer? The Bible says very well in the book of Romans that it was by grace through faith. Yes. It is by grace through faith. Even grace itself cannot save you unless faith is there. So that is the starting point. Now that you have understood that you have faith, the second thing you need to understand is to how to retain your faith. Your heart is a container. It's like a jerrycan or a basin. You have to make sure that your container is not leaking. You are not Your heart is a container. Your spirit is a container. Your soul is a container. So make sure that your container is well and sound. Because if your container is leaking, then 
you will find yourself having no faith anymore. Because let me read for you one verse or two from the Bible. The book of Jude. Verse 3. If you can please stand with me. Verse 3. It says. For information, Judah has one, 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 one chapter. Yes. Dear friends, although I was very eager to write to you about the salvation we share, I felt compelled to write and urge you to contend for the faith that once that was once and for all entrusted. To guard his holy people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bakungwa, ubgona ubgona jira gumeto kubandi chira ibja gachiza ibja gachiza dusanji ye niyumvi shije komaskwe no kuba hugura kujira ngo mushishi karire kurguanira ibja kuizera avera ba hawe rimwe. Yes. Baka jera jaza bika. This is an apostle of the Lord, Jude. Not Jude uh, Iscariot. This is Jude, the brother of the Lord. Now he's encouraging his recipients. Arimo gushishkariza cyangwa gutera umwete abamu abari bamukurikiye that I felt so uh, important, I felt it so important that I should remind you to fight for the faith that was once given to you and for all. And he goes on Faith is a very expensive commodity. It's like a precious stone. It's like a pearl. You don't handle it anyhow. You keep it. You retain it. You, every effort you have, you use it to keep your faith. There is a story in the book of uh, uh, Genesis chapter 15. When the Lord was uh, was was ministering to Abraham, the Bible says that Abraham got a few uh, uh, animals and birds, and he cut them into pieces, and he was ready to sacrifice them to the Lord. In fact, he was waiting for the fire of the Lord to descend from heaven and consume uh, those items. But before the fire could come, vultures could come and try to steal the meat. The Bible says that Abraham could drive them away. It was already in the night, evening. And uh, sometimes even sleep could fall upon Abraham. So because he could sometimes fall asleep, the vultures wanted to take that advantage. 
kubera rero ko yarananiwe ndetse agahunikira ibyo binyoni ibyo binyamaswa byashakaga gukoresha ayo mahirwe ngo bitware bita igitambo ke but every time the vultures came Abraham could wake up and drive them off ari kinshuro zose ibyo bikona byazaga gutwara izo nyama Abraham yagiraga gutya kaba maso akazirukana so this is how people should keep their faith the faith that we received from the Lord through Christ is like those sacrifices we have brought to the Lord but there are certain scavengers there are certain vultures uh, which want to come and steal our faith Ariko hari ibinyamanswa hari ibikona bishaka gukwiba kwizera kwacu It is our responsibility it is our task to keep on driving them off Nishingano rero zacu nkabizera kugira ngo dukomeze tube maso dushobore kurinda icyo twahawe inyamanswa inyamanswa zitakitwiba That is why the Bible says uh, in the book of Revelation that keep what you were given so that no one will take away the your crown of life ibyo rero nibyo bibiri tubwira mu gitabo cy'ibyahishuwe ngo rinda icyo wahawe kubera yo kubikiwe ikamba ry'ubukiri so we retain faith turinda rero kwizera we keep our faith turinda kwizera by driving away the scavengers the vultures kwirukana inyamanswa twirukana ibikona biza kwiba kwizera kwa evil spirits hari imyuka mibi they are demons hari abadaimoni they are evil powers hari imbaraga z'umwijima there is satan himself hari satan ubwe there is the power of sin hari imbaraga z'icyaha doubt hari ugushidikanya all those are vultures they are trying to steal your faith they are trying to take the meat of your sacrifice to the lord it is your responsibility to always drive them away just like abraham did though sometimes you could slumber but he could always wake up the same thing applies to us sometimes on our journey you may stagger you may slumber but don't fall asleep make sure no vulture takes away your faith your sacrifice it is not recorded that maybe one time the vulture took the meat from Abraham he was always fighting back fighting back the devil always come and bring sleep upon you rise up Fight back. Drive away the vultures. Come on, fight for your faith. This is what Jude the apostle says. That we should fight for the faith that we once received and for all you don't sit back and and begin to 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 complain to mama and to wish that i wish my faith was kept it is your task your responsibility ntabwo wicara ngo wifate mapfubyi uvuga ngo iyo kwizera kwanje nza kukurinda ni shingano yawe kugufatuka kurinda ukagukomeza you know some people always have these pity parties oh i know if the lord wants it i it will happen yes i am weak i can't do anything maybe the lord will be with me and will keep my faith but the, the, the bible always emphasizes on on, on, on individuals 
keeping their faith ariko bibili yihora itwereka itwihanangiriza ko abantu ari bafite ishingano yo kurinda kwizera kwabo let me show another verse here reka ngira undi murongo nkwereka turn with me to the book of second timothy chapter 4 ja muri timotheo wa kabiri ibice bine and verse 7 Thank you my Lord and my Father. Chapter 4 verse 7. It says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Haravuga ngo narwanye intambara nziza narangije urugendo narinzi ibyo kwizera i have kept the faith narinzi ibyo kwizera so uh, fighting a good fight kurwana uruga intambara nziza finishing the race kurangiza urugendo keeping the faith uh, kurinda kwizera those things those three things fall in the same category ibyo bintu byose ni byingenzi bifite agaciro kangana you run your race urugendo urugendo rwawe you fight a good fight ukarwana intambara nziza and then your faith is kept no no kwizera kwawe ukabura kurinze so it is through warfare that we keep our faith binyura rero mu rugamba binyura mu kurwana intambara niho ushoborera kurinda kwizera kwawe it is only warriors spiritual warriors who are able to maintain their faith barwanyi nabantu bazi kurwana intambara zo mu mwuka bashobora kurinda kwizera kwa You don't take no as an answer Nagupfa kwakira oya ngo kubera ko nico gisubizo You rebuke spirits Uchahimyuka You come up again Ukonja rugahaguruka You may stumble and fall Ushobora gusitaruka gwa But a warrior will not stay there Ari ku murwanyi ntago aryama ngo arambarare You will not remain there Ntago uri bugume hasi ngo watsinzwe You always spring back Urongera rukarwana ugahaguruka You always come back Ukahaguruka If you remain on the ground No guma hasi ku butaka You are not a warrior You can never be a winner. You can never finish your race. You cannot fight a good fight. Warriors always spring back. They always fight back. I don't say that you may not stumble. No 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 no. Mm -mm. Temptations always come. But always remember that you have to fight back. And by doing so you are keeping your faith. You are keeping your morale. You are keeping your focus. You are keeping your Christianity. Praise God for Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I heard some people someone say he had committed a certain sin and then he or she said I don't know no, this gender, no, that I don't have to lie the lord let me forsake these things of Christianity. I don't have to be a hypocrite. Because today I'm, I'm, I'm born again tomorrow. I'm sinning. No, I don't have to be like that. Let me be one thing. That is failure at its highest level. Don't be a failure to that extent. Be a warrior. Be a fighter. Defend your faith. Fight for it. Come back. Upon your feet. Keep moving. Finish your race. Keep your faith. Don't backslide. Don't turn back. Keep moving. The Lord Almighty is with you. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. How 
do we retain our faith? By fighting a good fight. A good fight of faith. Oh glory to God. Oh hallelujah. 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 So you have the faith it was given to you by grace through his word. Now it is your responsibility to keep it, retain it, to maintain it. Of course, grace has not gone anywhere. It is still there. Because if it was not by grace, you cannot even take a single step forward. So, since now that grace is there, we are sure that divine enablement is there. So, take forward steps and keep your faith. Praise God. Yes, Remember, vultures are everywhere. Remember that birds are everywhere. Scavengers are coming from every corner. Drive them away. Put them off. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. How many times has the devil whispered in your in your in your in your, in your, through your, 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 your ears. And sometimes you begin to even quit. You begin to slow down. And you think you are finished. Those are scavengers. They are trying to take away your faith. Sometimes the devil approaches you, speaks to you, through even your friends and your comrades and relatives. Satani hariho nubwo anyura mu nshuti zawe muba mukorana muba vandimwe bawe akabanyuramo akaza ari gikona ashaka kwiba kwizera kwa. And it's like they are trying to give you a wise advice. Bigasa nkaho barimo kukugira inama nziza. Yet that is a scavenger. Kandi cyo ari gikona. There is a spirit behind the advice they are giving you. Harumwuka uri inyuma iyo nama bakugira. The spirit is taking our faith. Uwo mwuka urimo kugukamuramo uratuma kwizera kwawe gucogora. Fight. Gwana. Drive them away. Jirukane. Talk to them. In the name of Jesus. Keep the faith. Receiving. Retaining. Developing. And releasing. So let us fight a good fight. Let us keep on coming back. Every time you feel weakened, pray for divine strength and have a divine comeback. To God be the praise. Amen. Amen. Then we come to another step. Developing it. Growing our faith. Now, you will not be able to retain it for a long time unless you grow it. Faith has to be grown. It has to be developed if it has to be kept. Niva kwizera tugomba kukurinda birasaba yuko tugukuza tugashiraho ibigutunga tukakurera kugakura If it stays at its low level then it will be easy for the scavengers to steal it Ni kuguma ari guceya cyangwa se ari gutoya bizorohera cyane umwanzi kuza kukukwiba Because your energy your strength Depends on your faith. How, 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 how mature, how strong it is. How do we grow our faith? First and foremost, we feed it. 
turakugaburira you feed your spirit ugaburira umwuka wawe you feed your soul ugaburira mu bugingo ha you feed your faith ugaburira kwizera kwa with divine nutrients ninunga mu biriza ubumana and then your faith grows kwizera kwawe kugakura that is the first thing icyo ni kintu cyambere ukora you feed your faith ugaburira kwizera kwawe come on hallelujah. hallelujah this is why we always endeavor to preach to you the word of the lord niya mpamvu buri giye dushishikarira kubigisha ijambo ry'Imana because the word of god is the divine food kubera ko ijambo ry'Imana nibyo kurya by receiving the word mukwakira kwawe rero ijambo ry'Imana by hearing and listening every now and then to the word mukuritega matwi ukaryumva ukumva ijambo ry'Imana your soul is being fed mu bugingo hawe uri murahagaburira and then you will mature hanyuma ukure then you will grow ukure praise god yes ashim how do you feed your spirit negute ugaburira umwuka wawe how do you feed your your, your faith negute ugaburira uta uha kwizera kwawe intunga mubiri the word ijambo ry'Imana prayer gusenga kwegera Imana communion with the father kugira ubusabane na data as you commune with him ukurusha kugira nubusabane nawe then he begins to impart in you some of the things that makes him up hari ibintu bimwe agenda ashira mu buzima bwawe bituma hari ibigenda bikuvaho his nature becomes your nature iri kamera y'Imana igatangira kuba kamera yawe he fills your mind with his mind ikakuzuza mu bitekerezo byayo you begin to grow utangira gukura you begin to to, to be stable utangira guhama hamwe utakinyeganyezwa nibiye you stabilize you press your feet on the ground and you become steady usha ushori mizi uga komera praise god hallelujah hallelujah your faith grows ukwizera kwawe kugakura your faith has to grow kwizera kwawe kugomba gukura keep on feeding your faith komeza ugaburire kwizera kwawe always listen always watch always view the word uh, uh, spoken to you uh, through all these channels komeza wumva utega amatwi ijambo ry'Imana komeza urebe kureba ibyo ureba by'ijambo ry'Imana biragaburira umwuka wawe ibyo wumva ry'ijambo ry'Imana biragaburira kwizera kwawe read your bible yourself isomere bibilia yawe make sure you have one ukora ibyo bakugura bibilia yawe and make sure you read it kandi ugerageze kuyisoma read your bible isomere bibilia yawe many years ago imyaka myinshi ishize I gave uh, a copy of the Bible to one of the believers in church. Haru mu Kristo umwe nahaye Bibiliya mu itorero. She had no one. Ntayo yagiraga. And then I volunteered to give her one. No neho ndavuga ntire kagira iyo muha. Well, not because she had no money. Ataru ko yananiwe kuyigurira. But that's how that's how she valued it. Nuko nguko yabihaga gaciro. She thought she could not afford buying a Bible. Yumva gatashobora kwigurira Bibiliya. So I bought it for and I gave it to her. Ndayimugurira. 5 uh, about 3 4 to 3 years down the road. Ahashira imyaka ibiri cyangwa itatu. I approached her. Ndamwegera. Asa, ah, you still have the other Bible? Ndamubaza, "Eh, hey, uracafite ya Bibiliya?" She said, "Yes, here it is." Yarabwe yego pastor ndayifite dore iri hano. Look at it. Irebe. Very new. Iracyari nshashye. And she thought that I would commend that. Ngira ngo yibwira ko ndi bubishime. But I said no. Ndabwa oya. It should not be new by now. Ntabwo imyaka ishize iyi bibira yakaba ikiri cyashya nkuko nyibona. Now that it is still new, it doesn't mean it, it, it means that you no, you don't use it. 
Kubera rero kirishasha kuri uru rwego bivuza yuko utaje uyisoma ntuje uyikoresha You should go and read your bible Ugomba kugenda ugasoma bibilia yawe Underline those verses that are blessing your soul Ukagenda usurinya uci mirongo kumi uci mirongo ku magamba mwe agenda gufasha cyangwa agenda kubaka Make that bible your close friend Iyo bibilia yigira shuti yawe ya hafi Then your faith will grow Kwizera kwawe kuzakura So feed your spirit. Dero gaburi rumuka wawe. Feed your heart. Gaburi rumu tima wawe. Feed your faith. Gaburi rakuizera kwawe. By the word. Binyuze mu jamborji ma. By communion with the Father. Binyuze mu gusaba na nima na. Your faith will grow. Kuizera kwawe kuzakura. Through obedience. Binyuze mu kumvira. Your faith will grow. Kuizera kwawe kuzakura. To God be the glory. Ichu wahiro ni chima na. Another thing that 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 increases your faith. Ichinde chinu jit kuzak kuizera kwatu. Exercise. No gushira mu bikorwa divine exercise ibikorwa by'ubumana praise be to god hallelujah you begin to serve utangira gukora imyitozo you begin to minister utangira gukorera imana you begin to share the word utangira gusangira nabandi jambo ry'imana you share the same to your friends ugasangira ijambo ry'imana n'ishuti zawe that is spiritual exercise ibyo ni imyitozo yo mu mwuka then your faith begins to grow izera kwawe gura Kura. Hallelujah. 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 There are those who are weak in faith. Harabantu bafite kwizera guce. Those are people who never had spiritual exercise. Abona abantu batigeze bakora imyitozo yo mu mwuka. But there are those who are very strong in faith. Ariko harabo bafite kwizera gukomeye kandi. When you try to look into their faith. Iyo tangiye kureba mu kwitegereza mu kwizera kwabo. They like have the six pack kind of faith. Birasa nkaho bafite kwizera gupakiye. Very strong, very energetic. Barakomeye barahamye bashiza ma. They move mountains why they feed their faith and they exercise it praise god hallelujah grow in faith now someone will ask how how will i grow my faith in fact you grow in the spirit mu byukuri kugira ngo ukura mu kwizera ukura mu mwuka growing your faith is a result of growing your spirit gukura mu kwizera numusaruro uturuka yuko wakuze mu mwuka as you grow in the spirit iyo kuza mu mwuka as you begin to be mature in the spirit iyo tangiye kuba umuntu wakuze mu mwuka then your faith will begin to grow kwizera kwawe nako kuzatangira gukure some people are deceived habantu bamwe barabeshwa they think that uh, somebody growing in the spirit is uh, being able to preach uh, doing a lot of things in church they come first and go last you know th that's how people think that abantu bamwe bafite ikinyoma yuko gukura mu mwuka ari ugushobora kubwiriza ugafata micro ukaza muri ukazinduka muri rusengero ukakaba ari ugenda nyuma akaba hari imirimo runaka ukora ntaga ico bivuze gukura mu mwuka those things are gifts ibintu byinshi bikorwa ni impano preaching is a gift Kwigisha ni impano cyangwa kubwiriza Singing is a gift. Kuririmba ni impano. Okay? Yego. Most of, most of those things are gifts. Ibintu byinshi abantu bakora abari impano bahawe. So you can be a good preacher but still a babe. Ushobora kuba umuntu uzi kubwiriza neza ariko ukabukira umwana mu mwuka. What is spiritual growth? Niki bisobanuye kuba being Christ like bearing spiritual fruits when you begin um, when you begin to grow you grow when you begin to grow in the spirit then your faith also 
grows until you become a spiritual giant. Iyo tangiye gukura mu mwuka kwizera kwawe nako kurakura kugeza aho uba igihanda mu mwuka. Praise God. Icyo bahiro kibicimana. Now let us compare the spiritual life and the physical life. Reka rero tugereranye ubuzima bwo mu mwuka ndetse n'ubuzima mu bigaragara. When you grow physically, iyo kuze mu gihagararo mu buryo bugaragara, you also become strong. Iyo kuze mu gihagararo ugira nimbaraga. Okay? Mm -hmm. Become strong. Ugira nimbaraga. So physical strength is likened to faith. A uh, imbaraga so uh, imbaraga physical, physical strength. Imbaraga zigaragara zigereranywa n'imbaraga zo mu mwuka. Physical life is likened to spiritual life. Ubuzima bugaragara nabwo buragereranywa n'ubuzima bwo mu mwuka. So physically you grow and as a result you become strong. A mu gihagararo urakura noneho kubera yuko wakuze ukagirimba ukagwiza imbaraga and in the spirit you grow and as a result you 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 become a strong faith you have a strong faith iyo kuza no mu mwuka ugira n'imbaraga ukabigihanda mu mwuka keep on developing your faith komeza rero uteze imbere ukuze kwizera kwa the devil fears a developed faith Satani atinya abantu bafite kwizera kwa kuze. A developed faith moves mountains. Kwizera gukuze gusenya imisozi. Listen to Jesus. Reka twumve icyo Yesu yavuze. Disciples came to him. Abigishwa baramwegereye. And they told him, "Master, increase our faith." Baramubwira bati, "Mwigisha, ongera kwizera kwacu." And then they said, "If you had faith as small as a mustard seed, you will be able to move mountains. You will command the mountains to be moved from where they are to the sea. Yes, Araba Subizati, Atimu Jiza Quizera, Kungana Nakabuto Kasinapi, Muza Shora Kurim Brimisazi, Muiteja Kijendi Gwemunyan. In other words, what Jesus wanted to tell these people, Itaya Sosha Kubasova Nurira Reru, faith begins small. But it has to grow. Because a mustard seed is the smallest seed of all seeds. But when it germinates and grows, it becomes one of the biggest trees in the forest. So Jesus was trying to tell them that you may be having as small as a mustard seed faith. But if you grow it consistently, it will become a huge tree. And you will be able to cast out, to, 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 to dry, to, to, to remove a mountain from where it is into the sea. Kubera kwizera kwa kuze kukaba kunini uzaje utegeka imisozi irimbuka hiri itabwe mu nyanja. So keep on feeding your spirit. Dero komeza ugaburira umwuka wawe by the word of God. Binyuze mu ijambo ry'Imana. By prayer. Binyuze mu gusenga. By fasting. Binyuze mu kwiyiriza. Keep on exercising. By serving the Lord, preach the gospel, do what is right, help the, the, the sick and the poor, your, your faith will begin to grow until it becomes a giant. And it becomes stable. Praise God. Hallelujah. The journey does not end there. Faith has to be released. You don't keep it to yourself. Because it is not a gift that has been given to you to keep. Faith actually is a tool 
kuko kwizera ni igikoresho to use gikwiriye gukoreshwa it's like it's like a hoe or oh, an axe ni ngo gufata isuka cyangwa se ishoka it is something to use ni igikoresho gikoreshwa so faith kept in a cupboard does not help kwizera kubitswa mu kabati ntacyo kwa kugezaho we receive it Turakwachira. we keep it turakurinda we sharpen it we develop it turagucyaza tukagukuza but again we use it ariko kandi turagukoresha we release turagusohora praise be to god now, let me let me let me read for you the last verse and then i will be done Let's go back to the chapter and the verse we began with. Mark 11. Mark 11. Mark 11. Mariko. Let's read this verse. Ah, uh, this verse, which verse is this? Praise God, hallelujah. Now, let, 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 me, let me begin with verse uh, 23. They arrived again. Yes. They arrived again in Jerusalem, and while Jesus was walking in the temple courts, the chief priests and the teachers of the law and the elders came to him, no, 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 sorry. I'm reading the wrong verse. Mm. I, I think I was re reading 27. Let's, uh, let me go back to verse 23. What is 23? Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believe that what they say will happen, it mm. will be done for them. Amen. Ndababgira ukuri yuko, umunu wese wabgiru yumuso zi ati, shinguka utabga munyanj, nashi dikanya mumutima we, yize yuko icho avuze jikorgwa, ya chibona. If you say, nubgira, to this mountain, that be removed, be cast into the sea, you will see it. My question is, what if I don't say to the mountain, what will happen? Nothing. You have faith in your heart. It is growing. You have kept it. You received it. It is there. It is powerful. But if you don't say to the mountain, nothing will move. So we release our faith by speaking. Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are a lot of mountains that are standing before you. And most of these mountains have become a huge stumbling block. And you are there sitting back, crying, complaining, and so forth. And you have what it takes to deal with them. And that is faith. It is faith that is required to deal with those mountains. But those mountains will never obey your faith until it is released. It is impossible. Now, if I brought about 10 men or women and I stood them before you, this is your first time to meet these people. You've never seen them before. You've never heard of them before. 
One of them is, let's say, an, a civil engineer. Another one is a lawyer. Another one is a doctor. And all different careers. So everyone has a career. So I stand them before you. And then I ask you now, tell me who is what. How, how will you tell me? How will you manage? You've never seen them. You've never had them speak. You are seeing them for the first time. They are dressed the same. And then I ask you who among these is what? What we tell me? Because they are not at work. How will you know? Let me tell you this. If they happen to talk, you will get to know who is what. Uzatangira kumenya ngo uyu ngo ari maravuga ibirurimi rujyanye n'ubuzima uyaravuga kubijyanye no no n'ubucamanza. Their skills is being released through their speech. Ubuhanga bwabo nibyo bigiye bitangira gusora binyuze mu buryo bavuga. Even the Bible says the Bible says that even a fool is considered to be wise when he shuts his mouth. So when you talk, we get to know you. We get to understand who you are. So even faith is released through speech. Even doubt is released through speech. No you cannot lie. I understand. Don't try to convince me. I have faith. I have faith. No, no, no. You don't have to convince me. Just converse. I will know who you are. I will know who you are. Don't try to impress me. Just talk. I will get to know. Are you wise? Or not? Are you educated? Or not? Are you fearful? Or not? I will find out myself. That is faith. Did you receive? Keep on keeping. Did you keep it? Keep on developing. Did you develop it? Keep on releasing. In the name of Jesus. It will work for you. It will move mountains. It will heal the sick. It will perform miracles. Signs and wonders. It will raise the dead. It will bring dead things back to life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for following. Thank you for listening. Thank you for viewing. We are coming to the end of uh, this preaching. Let's pray. Thank you, my Lord, in the name of Jesus. This is a wonderful day. This is a wonderful time. I'm praying, Lord, for my faith. And for the faith of my viewers. There are those who are following and they already have faith. I am praying that you may help them to retain, to develop, and to release it. 
basengera guko kwizera bafite bashobare kukurinda bagukoze bagukuze kandi bakwature There are those that are viewing or, or, or listening who have never received faith Harabo badukurikiranye batigeze bakira kwizera I am praying that you may help them to receive to retain to develop and to release Ndabasengera ngo uyu munsi bashobare kwakira kwizera In the name of Jesus Ni bakwakira bakurinde bagukuze kandi bagusore mu izina Let our faith become productive Reka kwizera kwacu kubukumumaro Let our faith produce fruits Reka kwizera kwacu kweri mbuto Let sick people begin to be healed because of faith Whatever that has been impossible, if let it become possible because of faith. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive the praise, my Lord. Receive the glory, Son of God. I pray for the sick. I pray for the troubled. I pray for the confused. I pray for the perplexed. Stretch forth your hand and tie their lives. Whoever that is in, in dilemma. Whoever that has, doesn't know where to go and what to do. Help, help them in the name of the Lord. Light their way. And bring them to their destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive the praise, my Lord. Receive the praise, my God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the praise. May the Lord bless you. Increasingly and abundantly. Now, uh, before we wind up, the sermon, the preaching. I would like us to give our offerings and bring our tithes to the house of God. May the Lord bless you so much. You know that uh, we always give our tithes and offerings through uh, mobile money. We have two numbers. One is a mobile mobile money number. And the other one is a bank uh, number, account number. So then numbers, both numbers are on your screen. So I request you to get your, your mobile phone and begin to type as you are going to, uh, to, 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 to give our offerings, tithes, yeah, thanksgiving, and so on. So now go ahead. May the Lord bless you. Go ahead and send your tithe and send your offering in the name of the Lord. The number is there. So go ahead and send your tithe. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, thank you. I think we are done. Those that are still uh, transacting, please go ahead. Yeah, may God bless you so much. Uh, this is the end of our service. Have a great evening, have a great night. We are meeting again on Sunday, Sunday morning from 10 to 12. 
Uh, saine kujeza sasita. On Sunday. Kuchumwe, it's going to be a good Sunday, as I told you, it's going to be a Pentecost Sunday. May God bless you. Shalom. Amen. Amen.